Hi, I'm Claire Aiken with the Fiddly Fig Plant Resource Center, and today I want to walk you through our Fiddly Fig Care Calendar. And so it's really important when you're caring for a plant, especially a fiddly fig, to check in on it on a regular basis. You want to make sure that you're checking on it daily, weekly, monthly, and annually, and doing the different care that your plant requires. And so we have a free Fiddly Fig Care Calendar on our site that I will link below and you can download and get all of the information that you need. But first I just want to walk you through what I recommend. So on a daily basis, it is is something that you just want to walk by your plant, take a look at it, and notice for any subtle changes. So most importantly, you want to look out for any insect damage or brown spots because root rot can really kill your plant in a hurry. And the first sign of root rot is brown spots or dropping leaves. And so if you see any dropping leaves, check them, make sure they don't have any brown spots, and just look over your plant, make sure it looks okay on a daily basis. Um, and then also on a daily basis, you consider you could consider wiggling your plant's trunk. That will actually strengthen the trunk and make it more tree-like. And so if you have the time, just give it a little shake for a minute or two. On a weekly basis, we recommend Fiddly Fig Friday, and there's a hashtag that you can share photos on your plants on Instagram. You want to make sure that you do the general inspection for brown spots, dropping leaves, insects, and you also, I recommend rotating your whole plant about one quarter turn so that it gets even growth because as your plant gets sunlight from one direction, it can really start to lean and then give you kind of an off kilter uh, plant. And so if you rotate the whole pot one quarter turn every Friday, it'll give you a very even uh, growth throughout the plant. You should use a soil meter, and we make a soil meter specifically for fiddly figs. Um, so use your, your soil meter, the moisture function, on a weekly basis to determine when to water your plant. And so you don't want to water it until it is a number four or less, because a five or greater means that your soil is already too wet, and it doesn't need more water at this time. Water and fertilize your plant as needed on a weekly basis. And so we make fiddly fig plant food, which is designed to be used every single time you water. So you know that your plant is getting that consistent nutrition that it needs with no risk of burning your plant. And it's you don't have to remember when the last time you fertilized was because you just use it every single time you water. You just mix in one teaspoon of fiddly fig plant food into your watering can per plant and water it as normal. And then uh, be sure to show share photos of your plant and hashtag Fiddly Fig Friday on Instagram so we can see them. On a monthly basis, what I recommend doing is pruning your plant. So you want to remove any damaged leaves, anything that has you know trauma or cracks or brown spots. Just snip them off with pruning shears. Um, it is a good idea if you can to give your plant a shower and so use room temperature water to shower off your plant. Make sure the leaves are really clean. That allows them to uh, to release their oxygen into the air and also to absorb carbon dioxide. But more importantly, it allows them to absorb as much light as they need. And so one of the big problems we see with fiddly figs is not getting enough light and that can be really made worse by having dust or dirt on the leaves themselves. So you wanna keep your leaves as clean as possible. So shower them off either in the shower, wipe them down with water or hose them off outside. And then we do make a leaf shine and protect spray that can help your plant to retain more of its moisture and help protect it from insects and fungus. So check that out, it's called Leaf Armor if you're interested in that. And then if you do see any signs of root rot on a monthly basis, you wanna treat for root rot. So if your plant has had root rot in the past or if you have dropping leaves or brown spots, I recommend our root supplement treatment and you can use that according to the instructions just to protect your plant's root system into the future. On a quarterly basis, I recommend just assessing overall health and growth. Do any top pruning if you need to. So if your plant is getting too big, too tall, trim off the top branches that are getting too big. Make sure you even it out into the shape that you want and consider propagating your cuttings. So as you cut off new sections of your plant, you can put them into water and we make a propagation promoter product where you put a few drops of that into your water and your um, cutting will grow roots and you can plant it as a new plant. You can give it away to your friends or your family. It's a lot of fun to propagate propagate your cuttings. Um, so make sure you prune your ideal shape and then um, you know just consider notching for new growth. And so what I mean by that is if you have a fiddly fig that has some bare spots on it, on a quarterly basis you can make some cuts in those bare spots and your plant will actually grow new branches in those areas. And so check out our video on notching if you're interested in that topic. 
And then on an annual basis, you probably want to repot your fiddle leaf fig if possible. And so you're going to want to put it into a bigger pot, maybe four to six inches in diameter bigger than its existing pot to give the roots more room. Use new soil. We make a fiddle leaf fig soil that is perfectly uh, formulated to drain really quickly and to provide the nutrients and the conditions that your fiddle leaf fig will love. So repot into a larger container if you want your fiddle leaf fig to grow larger. If your fiddle leaf fig is already too big and you're trying to stop the new growth, you can top dress it, which means just adding some soil to the top of the container to give it some more nutrients and moisture retention. Um, but you don't want to repot a large plant if you don't want it to grow any bigger. And so um, also on an annual basis, I recommend just thinking about if you want to update the look and feel of your container itself. So the pot or the decorative container, whether it's in a basket or um, some, some other container, I like to update the look and feel of each plant uh, at least once a year and just give it kind of a fresh look. So I hope this was helpful. Please join us in our Facebook group if you have any questions about your plants. You can shop our store at the link below and you can download your free calendar on our website. I'll link to that below. Subscribe if you like this video and post a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks so much. Bye.